Right, candidate A, you can start now. Good evening to the examiner and my fellow candidates. In my opinion, I think that English should be made the medium of instruction in schools. Uh, all of us begin from a school. The students spend most of their time in schools and uh, the people of the country are also, the majority of the people are also students. So. Um, this English, the medium of instruction should be English because it will be very effective where students can get to learn English all the time and uh, by using English as the medium, it means that the teachers should teach in English, they also should uh, converse with the students in English and also talk with each other in English. Um, the, the headmistress or the leaders should also give speeches in English when they are on the stage during the assembly. This is very effective because students can learn how to use English properly by listening and also using English. Uh, this will help to improve their grammar and they can, they can uh, use it in the future. Um, the benefits of using English as an, as the medium of instruction is because English is an international language, people use it all the time. So if you improve the, the, in, the standard of English in students, uh, they can use it in business, they can use it in universities where as they grow up and graduate up from the school. Uh, Uh, teachers should also teach English, teach their subjects in English. Um, this, such as biology, uh, physics, chemistry, um, because most of the time, some teachers will tend to speak in their mother tongue, which is maybe Malay or Chinese. Okay, stop. Thank you. Can it be? Can we start now. Good evening to the examiner and fellow candidates. I feel that more native speakers of English should be employed as English teachers in schools. Native speakers of English is a person who born in a country who speak English since when they are born. The person who born in that country are New Zealand, United States, United Kingdom, Singapore, Australia, Canada, and so on. They start talking by using English when they are small, so it has become their mother tongue. English is a national, national language for the native speakers of English. They are experienced in using English to communicate as well as writing. So it is benefit to employ native speakers as English teachers in school. The student can learn this language well with native speakers of English as they have mastered well and they are confident while teaching the students. Some may teach the student how to pronounce the word well, such as restaurant instead of restaurant, vegetable instead of vegetable, and so on. The teachers may teach students in other facts, other facts such as vocabulary, grammar, comprehension, and so on. Okay, stop. Right, can candidate C, you may start now. Good evening to the SMS and fellow candidates. 
in my opinion, I feel that English should be made a compulsory subject to pass in public school examination. For example, UPSR, PMR, SPM, and FTPM. First, English is an international language where people used to communicate between like country. We all are using English as a communication language. Not only that, uh, the English is used for certain subjects like chemistry, physics, and biology. So by learning English, the student can understand more what teacher is teaching with the their master of as they have passed the examination of English, they can have chances of studying overseas with the levels. For example, they can go United Kingdom, uh, Canada and others. Through English, they can understand each other better. For example, that there are formal letters from government, those who, which are written in English, so they can understand what is stated and can translate to their parents, those they don't know English. English also is the first consider for the intake of company or university. For example, the uh, students might have a band for and above to enter a local university in Malaysia. Furthermore... Okay, stop. Thank you. <laughs> Right, let's go to candidate B. You have two minutes, you can begin now. Good afternoon, the examiners and my fellow candidates. In my opinion, the government should subsidize the cost of books in English to make them portable to most people. Why do I say so? Uh, in my opinion, uh, preference books play a very important role in helping us to improve in our education. For example, we use a lot of reference books in all stages of our education, such as UPSR, PMR, ST, SPM, and STPM. My preference book is a must for us to score good in the examinations. examinations. And by and by subsidizing the cost of books in English, this will look, this will minimize the parents' burden, as the parents have been struggling to make both ends meet. There are various types of books in the market. They can improve our English, such as storybooks, novels, magazines, and reference books. And um, if the government subsidizes the cost of books, the cost of books will decrease by a high rate, and then the parents can have more expenses on their daily life. And the education fee has been a quite large amount for nowadays people, so if the government subsidizes the cost of books, it may lower the parents' burden and make them easier to make a living. Uh, in, on the other hand, the teachers also can get benefits from this step, because if the government subsidizes the cost of books, uh, more students will have the chance to get the reference book of their own. Okay, so that, <coughs> thank you. Alright, candidate E, you have two minutes, you may start now. Good evening to examiners and fellow candidates. In my opinion, I feel that government should have student exchange program to Improve the, improve the standard of English in the country. Student exchange program means send 
our government sends students to the other countries such as uh, United States, United Kingdom and Australia while our for while foreign students come to our country to further study. This enables our students to learn better English because foreign students can speak better English. So our so local students forced to speak English because English is their only language in that way students can learn to speak and improve their vocabulary as well as grammar. Uh, furthermore, students who send to other countries can learn, learn English as well because of the environment. They have to speak English at English is their national language. Besides, when students come back from the other country, they can speak better English. So they can organize a talk or a course to teach other students to speak better English. If they can speak better English, they can apply other jobs in other country as English is an international language. You still have time? Okay, stop. <laughs>